Hey everybody, welcome back to AC Auto Carts. So hey, I've got my buddy Dave's cart blown apart here. We're busy putting in underglow and glow on the upper canopy. I've got a signal kit ordered for it. Before we get this thing back together, we're gonna put in a USB charger. Uh, Dave asked me for one because his phone's always dead. So we're gonna do that. And then same thing with me. I might as well put one in Ron. I've been wanting to do it for a little while. I mentioned it in one of my previous videos, so we'll throw one in him. Thought I'd take you along, show you how we get this done. It's pretty quick, pretty easy, so it'll be a quick one. Let's get started. For the easy go, I'm just going to drill a hole, pop that baby right in there. I've already started running the wires for it. I just picked green and yellow, no particular reason. I just kind of looped them together. I can't put everything in a wire loom, so I might try and stuff them in one of the existing ones here, but I'm running out of room here. Uh, so without really lifting the body or anything, I was able to pop that in there, brought that up. I've got it on a 10 amp fuse here and here. So that's that connection. Everything's off. So all I got to really do here is drill the hole, put some connectors on the ends of these wire and flop it in. Video coming soon on that. As far as mine, I popped my, I've got the double take dash in this one. Oh, wait a minute, let me go around the other side. All right, double take dash is in this one. That's a lot of wires in there. It is a little bit more organized than you might seem. Uh, I talked about this in a previous video where I was doing trailer lights. That's the last time I had this opened up. I'm going to go, I got one last place on my fuse panel here. So I'm going to just direct wire it in there. I was thinking about putting it in the bucket, but this is long enough that I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up running into this and it would be the same thing on the other side. So we're going to go down. I'm going to put it right here. Everything is empty behind that. Should have plenty of room for that. So that's the plan. Basically, I got two holes to drill, a little bit of wiring should be pretty quick. All right. So as always, I'll put the link of these particular ones in the description. It is an Amazon kit. Again, two of these. There's going to be some LED that lights this stuff up, so that'll be kind of neat. Um, those fuse panels that I have, I've been doing, they're powered with the key, so they will be dead when the key is off. Uh, this did come with a little 10 amp fuse here. I'm going to cut those off because I'm using a fuse in the cart, but it does come with a fuse. You could just, I suppose, go direct. Uh, but that's what we have. Uh, the one that's going in the black cart, I'm just going to put my own connections on the ends of the wire for this. Uh, for the one that I'm doing, this is plenty of wire. I'm just gonna cut that off. I'll put the ends on that and then wire it in positive to negative. Uh, there are some instructions for different ways to wire them. I mean, this is pretty much what I'm doing. Positive, negative, done. Does anyone else always feel like nervous before you drill a hole in something like this? I got my little hole saw. That is the exact, at least it looks like the exact one that I need. Maybe I should do a pilot hole first. Let me do a pilot hole first. I don't know if that was needed or not. I just wanted somewhere for this. This isn't exactly sharp anymore. I melted it. <laughs> okay, I scraped it out. So it's 
got the little nut for the back side of it. Get that on and just test it. And we'll do the connections and wire it in. Hand tight should be good enough. All right. I cut that 10 amp fuse off and put these guys on for use on my fuse panel. So I'm going to hook that up quick. Again, my last one. Okay, wires in. Little 10 amper. Ooh. Cool. Well, so that looks good. All right, let's just test this. So key back on. Yeah. Uh, I don't have anything powered to that. That's why that's not working. Uh, I did have a previous video talking about this. This is my front overhead light, rear uh, spotlight, and then that is the power that goes up to the speaker. Or no, excuse me, this is power to underglow, which I could probably do that direct because I have to turn that on and off with my phone. But anyway, let's see. Okay, charging. So that's it for that one. Oh, by the way, this is just some like window weather strip that I put in here. Kind of keeps that a little more solid. This was rattling around. So I put that weather strip in there. I'll go a little slower this time. Maybe it won't get so much meltage. Ah, look at that. Go slow. That's my advice. <laughs> uh, in case you're wondering what this chunk is, I'll show you. So working on underglow, right? Mentioned that earlier in the video. Um, that will be coming up very shortly after this one. So this wire, um, I needed to hog out just a little spot. So that'll be it. The wire goes right in there. So it's flush. Little pocket lights. All right, those connections are in. Something I forgot to point out. There is positive and negative on the end of this, so you got to make sure, right? So I ran the, what did I do? Yellow is negative, green is positive. Boom. All right. That's straight. Yeah. All right, let's do that same test. Okay, we're charging. All right, so that's that for USB. I've got the video coming up on getting this uh, little fuse panel and voltage reducer in this one coming up because then we're getting these uh, this big light kit. It's a 12 piece light kit that I'm working on. So like and subscribe for that. That'll be coming up very shortly. So I got to get this done before Halloween. So um, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.